You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Now we do begin the rundown with breaking news in Holmby Hills, where federal officials have raided the home of Sean Diddy Combs. Let's go right to Desmond Sean's Guy Cal with more on this investigation. Des, it's been all day, really. Yes, it has been here at 200 South Mableton, this ultra exclusive a part of uh, Holmby Hills, known for lots of celebrity homes. And here is the home of uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs. It's gone by many different names, and there are a lot of Homeland Security officials that are in here, several dozen at least, that we just witnessed uh, now milling about uh, the home. Uh, as I widen out, it is a huge, huge response. There's a couple of armored Bearcats here. We saw some officers uh, wearing uh, military fatigues with automatic weapons walking around. We can show you earlier what it looked like uh, hours ago when uh, the federal officials first came to the home, and they did uh, pull someone out of the home, possibly or be believed to be a worker. We uh, do not believe that uh, Combs was here at this home, but we know that his Miami home was also raided, and the federal government saying that this has to do with a possible sex trafficking uh, investigation. He's had a lot of different legal problems lately, uh, so it's uh, unclear exactly what all they are looking for. They have drones flying over the property as well. So a massive, massive federal investigation and a big warrant being served today uh, in Holmby Hills. Live in Sky Caliber Head, I'm Desmond Shaw. Leslie, back to you in the studio. Desmond, thank you for that update. We will have team coverage on the federal raid ahead at four with our reporter Jeff Nguyen and assignment editor Mike Rogers. Okay, turning now to your weather. Let's take a live look outside at Santa Monica. The clouds coming in a little bit, but looks much different than yesterday. Of course, the question now, what can we expect for the rest of the week? KCAL News meteorologist Solgo Spina has your next weather. Hi, Leslie, and yes, a very different story from what we were seeing yesterday. Yeah. So let's take a look at conditions outside. We are seeing some clear skies, and yes, we have had some sunshine. Long Beach currently checking in at 67 degrees, and here we are. We are starting to see a little bit more cloud cover develop, but we will remain dry today and with comfortable temperatures, mostly in the 60s, uh, 40s as well for some of our mountain areas, 54 in Claremont, 67 in Chino. Here's a look at the wind gusts. It is very breezy for some spots, especially places like the Antelope Valley, currently 41 mile per hour gusts, as well as for the northern Ventura County Mountains. Those are the areas under the wind advisory. And this is going to continue through the early part of tomorrow. So gusts nearing 45 miles per hour. Let's take a look at what's happening along the coastline. We do still have that elevated surf, high surf advisory, especially for west facing beaches of LA as well as Ventura County. And then the big story is the changes by the weekend. Yes, we do have some more rain on the way. A storm that's going to bring us some rain as well as snow. Here's a look at uh, what happens as we head into late in the week. By Thursday, Northern California getting some rain for us by late Friday and into the weekend. That Easter weekend being impacted by some rain. This could be significant, so we're going to continue to keep our eyes on this. But for tomorrow, We'll feel a slight bump in the numbers. Low 70s for downtown Los Angeles, 66 in Malibu, 68 degrees in Riverside. And as we take a look at the seven day forecast, you will notice we will continue in the 70s uh, for some of our valleys into Wednesday, Thursday, and then by Friday. Here comes the rain by late in the day, continuing into the weekend and then drier as we head into early next week. Yeah, make those indoor plans for Easter. Thanks, Olga. This has been CBS News Los Angeles. The Rundown, I'm Leslie Money, and thanks for joining us. We'll be back live at 4 here on CBS News Los Angeles.